Greetings Multiverse, we're here to talk again about Gotham Knights and some new information that's come our way regarding a possible Gotham Knights beta that seems to be an open playtesting. This comes via our friend Suspicious Tension 19 from Twitter and he pointed us towards Steam Database which has a new app that was added just today, the 4th of March, called simply Gotham Knights Playtest and actually had someone playing it earlier today. This playtest is around 82 gigabytes in storage space and it is most definitely for Gotham Knights. There's no ambiguity here, it is outright stated that it's a Gotham Knights playtest and the transparency about this strongly makes it look that something regarding Gotham Knights is coming very soon. As we have been saying all along, I should point out, Something regarding Gotham Knights is going to be announced this month. Hopefully the release date. If it's in playtesting, if it's in beta and it's getting ready to release in some form on Steam, even if it's just for testing, that means we are approaching the end. There's been a closed beta in previous days, but this is the first time a playtest has been marked as an open sign-up, where requesters are added to the playtest automatically. This could even be a public playtest, although we're not going to jump to that conclusion just yet. Most likely this is for developers within WB Montreal to test the game, to get it ready for release, and we have no idea how long that will actually take. However, this is a real, genuine step towards Gotham Knights actually being released and released this year. It looks very strongly that it'll be released sooner rather than later, or the very least, the release date will be announced sooner rather than later. If it's now on the testing bar, that means it's in beta, that means the game is essentially complete. They are in bug testing. They're not adding anything more to it. They're not tweaking. It's all polish from this point onwards and correcting any major bugs that come up. Gotham Knights itself on Steam has been progressively updated pretty much every day for the last few months, suggesting some things really are going on behind the scenes. On the Steam version specifically, this is not an internal developer build. This is the Steam version, which will be the public version. So they're getting it ready for Steam release, and now they are in beta. They have a specific beta build, and that definitely points towards the game being nearly done. It is definitely coming out this year. In another bit of information, I don't know how much this connects to anything, but the Gotham Knights Funko Pops are down for August. This might not mean anything, it should be pointed out. Funko Pops can release whenever they feel like and the McFarlane toys are already out and in the wild. But if the Funko Pops are getting ready to be released, ones based on Red Hood, Robin, Batgirl and Nightwing of course, then they are definitely going to want to tie that up somewhere near the release or after it. Not long after it too, while it's still fresh in people's minds. I previously suggested June as a possible release date. That is still possible, but that's definitely the optimistic release date. The slightly more pessimistic release date is between August, September and very early October. We're talking the first week of October. They cannot release it anywhere near the big holiday rush with the Call of Duties and the Battlefields and the Assassin's Creeds. Not that any of them are getting released this year, apart from Call of Duty, but they cannot have Gotham Knights anywhere near the big holiday rush. The first week of October is absolutely the last week which they can conceivably release Gotham Knights this year. Personally, I'm calling June if I'm being optimistic and August stroke early September, but the latest, the latest it will be is early October. And I'm talking the first week of October here. I can see Gotham Knights being an October game. Historically, the Batman Arkham series mostly comes out around sort of the October time, apart from Batman Arkham Knight. But hopefully Warner Brothers won't actually be that stupid and try to release it in October or any further out in October. But then again, we have no idea what's going on with Warner Brothers ever. They don't seem to know what to do with their marketing or when to release games. But yes, the earliest you can expect Gotham Knights is June. The latest, absolute latest you can expect it, unless it is delayed to 2023 in the fact that it's complete mess, is early October this year. And the fact that it's in beta right now suggests that it's not in a complete mess. It is basically done. It is just the 
the polishing and the bug tracking stage, which can take a while depending on how unfinished the game is, but nothing new is going to be added to it. It is all bugs and polish and making it ready for release. We are not far off the release date anymore, folks. They could very well release the trailer this month, as I have been predicting. If it is as late as early October, then they may push it to, say, next month or even May. But hopefully everything is on track and we will get a release date trailer this month. Which is all very exciting stuff. And with any luck, I will actually be playing Gotham Knights at some point, and I'm not just talking when it comes out. I've got nothing to announce right now on that front, but I will be trying, honestly. I will be trying my best to play Gotham Knights, and if I do, I will let you guys know about it. Well, when I'm allowed to. But now that the Batman's come out, I am in a big Gotham City mood, and I really would like to play a new Gotham game, and I'm really distraught I might have to wait for one. I certainly will have to wait at least a few months, but hopefully this beta will come along and make me happy again. My prediction is we'll find out for sure very soon. But what do you guys think? Do you think this beta is a good indication that we're going to get Gotham Knights very soon indeed? Or do you think first week of October? Do you think it's going to get delayed to 2023? Or are you a bit more optimistic about it now that we're getting very obvious push towards a beta? Let me know in the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, which you'll find a link to in the description below. And you can bet we'll be discussing about it in the podcast in the next few days. Please like, share and subscribe. That all really helps me out. And check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. I've got plenty on Gotham Knights, including hints towards the Joker, Batman being alive, and the cinematic trailer, which is definitely in production, that's for sure. For now though, thanks for watching folks, and Multiverse, out.